Welcome back to the channel, guys. The Psychotic Circus of Savannah. I know what you're thinking. Okay, the title and the thumbnail, is, is this clickbait? And no, it's not. I live here in the state of Texas, and this morning, we got an Amber Alert warning. If you don't know what an Amber Alert is, it's when the state pretty much notifies everybody that there's a missing kid out there. You have to keep your eyes locked for a particular vehicle in a particular area, and they'll even show photos of the, the kid who's missing and the suspected perpetrator that took them. So best believe these are kind of like a serious matter. So my mind was pretty much blown when I got this. And you're probably thinking what I was thinking. Okay, this is a joke, somebody sent this to me. But no, that's not the case. The state of Texas released an Amber Alert. Get out of here, cat. Get, 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 get. The state of Texas actually released an Amber Alert for Chucky. I'm fucking infamous. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history. And I don't want to give that up. I am Chucky, the killer dog, and I dig it. The state of Texas released an Amber Alert saying that he kidnapped his son, if you were, I, th I think it was in Seed of Chucky, that little weird son that was kind of green for some reason. It looks like the kid fell off the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Now I legit thought I was being trolled, but I wanted to get to the bottom of it, so I reached out to the Texas Department of Safety. They told me it was a test malfunction, which is a little strange because like, there's quite a bit of detail in there and I imagine that there's multiple steps that have to occur for somebody to send out an Amber Alert. I wouldn't imagine some disgruntled employee has the power to push send and pretty much notify millions of people that Chucky's on the loose. Now very soon after I talked to the Department of Safety, it started popping up on the news. Subscribers of the Texas Alert System received a strange Amber Alert this morning in the search of a Chucky doll. The Amber Alert was emailed out three separate times to subscribers of the Texas Alert System January 29th. The message described him as 28 years old with red auburn hair, blue eyes, three feet, one inch tall, weighing 16 pounds, even describing his overalls in details and saying he was wielding a knife. Now, one thing the news isn't talking about, though, is that there was an address shown up on that Amber Alert. And when you Google Street View that address, it's a creepy house. It's not like a building owned by the Department of Safety or any kind of business entity. It's like a legitimate residential home that just looks super creepy. Toasty! Me, as a grown man, I'm crossing the street when I cross by that house. I mean, not to say there's necessarily serial killers or something, but there's gotta be some beehives or something in that tree. I don't know, it's just a little. So ladies and gentlemen, be on the lookout for a little three foot doll wielding a huge kitchen knife. This is real life, folks. We thought 2020 was bad. 2021, we have legitimate serial killers coming out of the movies into real life. Now, before we get into our subscriber shout out, I do wanna say thank you guys so much on the last video bombarding the comments, trying to get Amy to recognize we are going to hit 10K. We really, really need some distortions and limited props. Thank you for sharing the channel. Thank you for sharing the video. Let's blow this up. Let's hit that 10K. This Halloween, we want a distortions unlimited prop. And speaking of subscribers, it's time for our subscriber shout out. This time it's going to Steel Beats Musical Productions. You've been super active on the channel and I appreciate it. I checked out some of your beats, man. Straight crazy. This guy's super creative. He's sampling the audio from Spirit Halloween animatronics and making them into these dope trap beats. Actually, what you're hearing in the background right now is one of his beats. So go check out his channel, make sure you subscribe to him, show him some love, tell him the Psychotic Circus of Savannah sent you, and don't get it twisted, we still got another video for you this week. We got a brand new unboxing for you, so make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell, stay in tuned with the channel, and as always, happy haunts.